Hey guys, Vet Tech 81 here. So, uh, yes, from time to time I do work on other things besides cars. Today I'm working on my TV. Uh, it's a LCD TV. It's a 42 inch LG. Um, I'll put the model somewhere in the video in the comments or whatever below and the description or whatever. But uh, the problem I was having was powering up. It progressively got, had gotten worse, but basically it started out as uh, turning the unit on and the uh, green light would flash and you wouldn't have a picture right away and sometimes it would, it would, you'd shut it off and turn it on it would come on right away and eventually uh, it would act like it was powering up but you'd just see the uh, you know, the green power light blink and you know just wouldn't uh, actually turn on as far as the picture goes. Um, I think there was still audio with it but um, mainly the, the concern was that, that it wasn't lighting up with a picture on it. So did a little research on this particular model and it seems to be a very common failure is the capacitors fail on it and it's a very common thing with many different electronics for uh that fail is capacitors fail on the boards for example your um your computer motherboard it's one of the real common failures with them you'll find these capacitors are kind of swollen or swelled up it's kind of hard to see in the video here because these are not that big and it's hard to focus in with my my uh, camera phone here but um anyhow we got a couple of them that I can see are visually swollen. This one, this one, this one, and this one right down here. These two larger ones, I guess, are not real common to fail. I don't know if that's just because of the size of them or what, but they seem to not be a big issue on the, this particular model anyway. Um, so I ended up buying a kit off eBay because it just was an easy way to buy all the capacitors I needed. And it, it came with all of them, it looks like, except for these two big guys right here um, and uh, you can buy them separately without getting a kit all you need to know is you know what the specs are on the uh, capacitor you might be able to kind of see right here you know because the voltage and everything on it uh, on the side there you just need basically those numbers off of it and you can find the capacitors that you need uh, to replace it with you don't have to necessarily buy the kit one thing I want to say about capacitors when you're replacing them, they're polarity specific. So, for example, you might be able to see, like on this one back here, or this one probably pick up a little better on the camera, a little negative sign. Well, that's got to go to the negative side. You know, it's polarity specific. If you put it on backwards, the capacitor will end up uh, basically popping. It'll it'll burn up and pop and split. Kind of like how these swell, swell up, um, but it's going to basically burn it up and it's not going to smell very nice either. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to go ahead and unsolder these and replace them. You know, on the back side here, you can see all the little solder contacts and everything. So we use solder iron and heat them up and pull these off one by one and replace them and see how it goes. See if we can fix this TV. Figured, worst case scenario, I still have a broken TV and that's exactly what I started with. So... It's worth a shot. Um, the parts only cost like, I think it was like 12, 13 bucks or for all the capacitors minus these two right here. So anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and do it and see what happens. All right, so it's plugged in, red light's on. I'm gonna turn it on. Blinks. Let's see if it lights up. It's lighting up. Wow, okay, so it works. So basically I had to replace all those capacitors and that took care of it. So thanks for watching. Until next time, have fun fixing stuff.